Hello, uh, this video gives you uh, how to demodulate uh, of the amplitude wave description. So, uh, to create the simulation for envelope detection of the amplitude wave using XCOS, in this, the basic thing that you should remember is we must use a, a multiplier. And in this multiplier, the modulated signal, this is the modulated signal which is multiplied with the carrier signal and the output of the multiplier is applied to the low pass filter and then uh, the low pass filter is actually the final demodulated wave or which gives the message signal or the information signal so uh, here are uh, the steps to uh, follow to create the simulation of amplitude uh, modulation demodulation part in xcos open the xcos uh, you must have uh, the already inbuilt AM modulation simulation, which is explained in the last video. Output of the AM modulator wave is multiplied with the carrier. As you can see, this step one over here, step one in which the output, so uh, this would give you the output of the uh, AM modulation. This is multiplied with the carrier. So this carrier signal is coming over here. It is being multiplied. This is the multiplier block. It is multiplied uh, with the output and then uh, this step two represents the low pass filter. So the output of the multiplier is applied to the low pass filter and the output of the low pass filter is checked through uh, this CRO block. So uh, now let's look in the XCOS simulation. So this is Scilab and this XCOS simulation, this uh, has already been built up. So this is the carrier wave, which is applied to the multiplier block. This is the amplitude modulation. This is again multiplied to uh, the uh, multiplier block. Then uh, the output of this multiplier block is applied to the low pass filter with the parameter I've chosen as five. And the output, uh, this is dual mode CRO or two output CRO. Uh, so the output of this low pass filter is applied to uh, this CRO and again the message signal, a direct message signal is being applied to check whether the output generated from the low pass filter matches with the uh, message signal uh, or not. So let's run the simulation with the start button. And here we have the stimulus. Let's stop it. We need to again rerun this. So now let's check out this output. As you can observe in this, uh, so let's uh, look at the number of oscillations. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there are 13 oscillations which are represented in the zygom in certain time parameter. So uh, in the demodulated wave, this green part represents the demodulated wave. So clearly hums are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So again, there are 13 uh, oscillations. Obviously, the amplitude cannot match uh, since uh, there is attenuation factor that keep on running uh, in the circuit. So uh, this is uh, the animation of the demodulation part and this is what is being shown over here. So we have got these, this particular output. Thank you for uh, watching.